rating outfits. And you know, I, I'm in my outfit, look. We got the jersey with the pearls and shit. Damn. And then, hold on, let me get up here, hold on. Hey. We got the dress pants. A uh, little dusty, and then just the vans. So the, you know, I didn't want to go too hard, but I thought that this was a clean outfit. I got a 101 Chinatown Market, formerly known as Chinatown, just called Market now. Some plain black pants. Got the pink Rob socks, but it's because I'm in my room right now. So hey, okay. I, don't, I don't have the right shoes on. I got the sweater. The I don't even know thrift store. Looks cozy. A little cozy vibe, you know, just because we're at the pad, whatever. Got the beanie, a little jean shorts. Got a little necklace on black. too. Necklace. 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 Don't part forget the chain. Yes, yeah, so we're already 10 out of 10. Outfits, so we might not even agree on these fits that we like or don't like, so we'll just get straight to it and see what y'all think. You guys can rate our outfits in the comments, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God damn! Oh, oh, this is atrocious. Is that shirt say fuckers? <laughs> Am I tripping? Am I reading that wrong? <laughs> it says fucked up. Oh. So, is this a wide angle or is yeah, the shoes no, not big? I, I don't want to go in on him too hard. This is bad. Even the fucked up shirt is fucked up because it's not even his size. I don't like any of this his size. I'm no, gonna... nothing here is his <laughs> He got the shoes too big. He got the pants and shirt too small. How about the dad hat? The dad caps are trendy. The jersey's way too small and it says fucked up on it. I don't know why you would wear that. Yeah, that's not a good fit. Skinny, way too small, high water Adidas track pants. And then you've got the bozo. <laughs> they look too big. So it's going to be a zero. Don't that's fair to say. I like this. I'm feeling this. Personally, I think it's crisp, clean. The photos throw me off. Get your free flu shot. A little funny, a little quirky. Let me give this brother a seven. Yeah, I think better shoes, but give him a 6.5. 8. I think I think it's fair to say. A potato. I wanted to put this one on here because I went through literally almost everybody's submission. Like, I didn't miss anyone. I really clicked through all these submissions that you guys sent in. Y'all might be some of the worst photographers I've ever seen. So many of the fits, I was like, bro, I can't even see the fit, bro. And is that a hat? I don't even know what's on his head. I can't even, it is a hat, I think. So this is an example of an absolutely terrible fit. We're gonna have to do a roasting our subscribers rooms because I don't know what. Oh, that would be funny. <laughs> but even if your house is in a multi-million dollar mansion, Go outside. You got the air mattress with the dirty clothes on it. I know that room smells funky right now. It looked like it smells. <laughs> For the next one, don't send no crazy shit like that. Okay. This one gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah, you can't really say anything bad about like a formal fit. Yeah. A well-fitted suit well and he's got the cigar. Ten, that's a 10 for me. And he looked clean. The brown tie with the brown shoes. I respect it. Glasses, he's got this Clark Kent look going on. Yeah, he get a 10. That's one of the very few 10s I will slide out. Fade in with the massive satchel. He got the sling. That is, <laughs> that thing is fucking huge. <laughs> As a guy, do we have that many things that you need to no, carry shit? No, don't, just wear a backpack. Keys, phone, wallet. I got four pockets. That is a fucking huge satchel. I'm not mad at the fit, it's simple, it's safe to me. Give him a six. I'm gonna give him a 6.9. Actually, the satchel kind of threw me the fuck off. I'm gonna give him a 6. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a 4. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Giving me like big show WWE. Oh. <laughs> oh. Another example, in my opinion, <laughs> of the too much going on. The shirt by itself <laughs> might have worked, or the pants by themselves might have the, worked. And the shoes by themselves <laughs> might have worked. Yeah. He picked three standout pieces and put them all together, and it takes the outfit. And the colors down. just don't complement. You don't have to have complementary colors, but they, they just, none of these work. Nothing plays off of anything. This is going to sadly be ah, a two for me. I'll give him a two. I'm gonna give him a four. Plain white tee and some plain kicks. Might have really set this or off. Or even that shirt with the plain pants and those kicks. Maybe. No, literally. Mm -hmm. He could have changed just the pants right here. Yeah. And then just holding the black hoodie, which is throwing me off more. Might look better with the black hoodie on, that fit. Yeah, zipped up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. zipped up. <laughs> Shit, brother. Nah, nah. Come on, dude. Oh, I said shoes. <laughs> not the beaters. No, Bears. he's the type that gets the same pair after that expires after four years of wearing. He'll go and buy the same pair. <laughs> you just know. <sighs> and he's the type to say, they're comfortable. <laughs> Oh, oh. Like I feel bad, but it's like, that's just what it is. I hate to seem like an asshole, whatever, but this is the outfit that will get you picked on. The Levi's rainbow thing with the mask on. Bro, I, I just think if you're taking your fit picture with the mask on, it's like they're making an attempt to hide their face because they don't want to show their face, which I guess is sad because they have low self-esteem. I think your face, how, however, even if you think it looks bad, would look better if you didn't have the mask on. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to be a bully on this one, but yeah, Carlos, you really hurt me on that one. Aiden. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh. Aiden? Aiden, I'm hating it. Brother, did someone just grab your <laughs> fucking... <laughs> 
This looks like 15 minutes before his friend was just dragging his shit. Fucking Aiden. Scoop net. You got, <laughs> you got a serious case of bacon net. <laughs> and the bucket hat don't fit. I'm sorry, this is to be mean. I don't like gum bottoms on any shoe. <laughs> Okay, that's a first. That's a first. Like, thing do they? Say. Has it ever looked good? <laughs> nah, it has it. It has it. The bucket hat. I, I don't get the bucket hat. It's too small. I think he has too much hair He's for it. He's way too much hair for a bucket hat. Again, he looks like a nice guy. I'm not. Yeah. From Kentucky or something, who fights with his siblings a lot. He'd be having fun adventures. I bet. Uh -huh. like, I, I know on the weekends he's up to something. He'd be fishing late at night, yeah. cutting wood. Ah, oh, shit. One. It's oh. gonna be a one. It's, it's a one. This looks like the guy that graduated high school plenty of years ago who's like meeting up with his buddies for a, a few beers at the local bar. It's the type of fit that a girl would look at and not feel anything. <laughs> it doesn't look dirty. It's not bad. But obviously he's got the running shoes. Yeah, but a running shoes. I've never been a fan of that. Like the cargo pants put the running shoes with it. And the pose with the hands in the pocket. I think a another big theme that I see here is like, how much swag do you have? Like in your pose, in your fit, are you a swaggy person? Am I getting the, that's a guy I want to be friends with. Cause I saw a lot of kids where I was like, damn, that's a dope ass little kid, bro. This one isn't screaming dope to me. Like he looks really responsible. He got more money than me for sure. He got every receipt saved. He's a, sorry man, I can't afford that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he will cancel plans with me because well, I have to take care of this. Uh -huh. I'm like, got you, bro. Got you, bro. But I think I want to see him loosen up a little bit and get yeah, a, stiff. a little Even zest. Step outside your fashion comfort. Four and for just being... Let's give him a five just for complete just normalcy. I would say default boom. Um, yeah, I don't know about that one. So much, That's but so the, little. The cuffs? <laughs> Over the what are those Yeezys? Those aren't the Yeezy, those are the Wheezys. <laughs> this is a dick sporting goods next to the wrestling shoes. <laughs> is it okay to say camel's dead too? You can do camel, but not that. Not, not that. It's the guest too. We got the triangle. It's the guest camel. Fuck me. The four button polo church. Ah, oh, the four buttons though. Those jeans for me, bro. I can't do the jeans like that, bro. The jeans, yeah, could fit better, like better fitting jeans. This for me is going to be a I'm gonna give him a two. I'm gonna give him a two. You think any girl feeling something from that fit? No. I just wasn't a fan of any of the, the <laughs> articles here, so I'm like, I gotta do a one. Ah, you know what, that's fact. I can't look at one thing and go, well, if he just added this. Okay. Ooh, here we go. The MJ look right here. This is what I like to see. Portrait one fire? Okay, the top half looks better to me. Yeah, the top half is better. I don't know about the shoes. The shoes are throwing me off. I like this look, personally. Nothing here looks expensive, necessarily, but I think he swagged out. Handsome guy, doesn't he look like, oh, he swagged. He's the type that could wear anything and look cool. Yeah. So it's like, almost like, yeah, like, I'm not a fan of the shoes, but like, you're rocking it. I think his parents just gave him his Gucci belt and he just put it on. <laughs> yeah, he holding it back. A little graduation gift or something. To be able to wear those at all, those loafers like that with no socks. Yeah. I could never do that. For me, I'm gonna give him a 10 out of 10. I'll give, him a, I'll give him an eight just the shoes, man. Yeah, I would Ooh. say eight as well. I remember all through high school, I had zero drip. I had negative drip. Like, I thought I had drip. I was really just copy and paste what my my peers were. Only until recently, like stores are doing trendy kind of like hoodies. When I came to LA and they said, you ever been to a thrift store for? I said, isn't that just like the hand-me-down? <laughs> we have one thrift store in Waldorf we're from and you're not finding anything good. Yeah. It also location too, you know what I mean? But like yeah. Also, like, yeah. Instagram did not have the explore shop page. Kids nowadays, they have cooler haircuts, they have cooler outfits, they have more stores, they got more inspiration. Nowadays, the bar is higher. So if you have a whack outfit nowadays, there's almost no excuse. Okay. I've been. No caption needed. This looks like too much matching for me. The red, black, and white hat, the red, black, and white jacket, the red, black, and white shoes. He got cool pieces, but not all together. They don't need to be all together. Yeah, I think if the pants were black for this fit, it would look cooler. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then maybe take the hat off at least. Because yeah, now mm -hmm. the blue is popping, but you want the jacket to pop. Yes, I'm saying like, the, the blue is a, it's a loud blue. It's yeah. A loud blue. You can have a baggy blue jean, but you already got your other statement piece, which looks like your jacket. Yeah. But the hat's making a statement. And that's why your t-shirt's black, because you want your jacket to stand out. All three colors match the white, black, red. He could have just had the red match with the white or the red match with the black. He got cool clothes. Maybe throw the pants away, but. Um, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Ah, oh, it's just, it's too confusing. Yeah, I like the blue pants, but you just gotta, I, you like have, you said, do it right, maybe. He got do potential to make better outfits with his closet, but this one together, I'm gonna give him a four. This one, I like this one. This is my type of outfit. This works for him, too. I think mean, it's tough. Handsome guy, brown dress pants, I think just looks so dope. This looks bulletproof to me. Okay. You're not trying too hard. Nothing really looks like it necessarily matches, but the brown with the black, it just seems very, it makes mm. sense to me. Yeah, yeah. 9.5, definitely. I think the proportions 
collections are perfect too. It's like mm -hmm. you don't have the baggy shirt and the baggy no, pants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like the smaller shirt with the flared out. And it got the matching covering the shoes. Pearl, pearl on the wrist with the neck. This is like a 10 for me. Yeah, it's up there. It's nine, nine and a half. Get all the favors. They never repaid me. It worked in my favor because nobody said it. <laughs> the couch would be the funniest. Brother, bro, you're, <laughs> you're in between the basketball games of Dave and Buster's talking about some no one or paid you. Well, I can see why. Oh, <laughs> uh, you got the same kind of Walmart jeans going too. And those here's, are Walmart jeans. Like those are probably from Walmart. The athletic shoes are cool, just not not with the those. jeans, bro. Bro, everyone knows the kid that runs in the hallways with their hands behind their back doing the Naruto run. That is the jean and shoe combo that they wear. You can make the fit look cooler, but it's like you have to understand how your body fits in the clothing though. Yeah, this doesn't look cool. It's like, maybe if it was a t different tailored jean or different style shoe. Go to Macy's, like Levi's has good pants. Yeah. Just stay away from Walmart, and stay if you, away. And if you wanna go for the, the trainer shoe or whatever, they have cooler options. It's um, gonna be a two. No, no ready for me on this one. Ah, uh, three, four for me. Andre. Bold pants. This one looks tough to me. But the colors go. I like the shoes. Everything goes. Everything goes. Damn, this one might be a 10 for me. And that's a cool camo. It's, it's like, okay. yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. With the cool, with the pockets. Pants fit cool, the bag ear. Yeah, hoodies. Yeah, so. Hoodie. Simple text, little tiny design. Earthy brown, dope. And with his skin complexion, crisp, clean. This looks like a 10 for me. And the shoes, good choice with the white. Like black, blue, even any other color wouldn't have worked. Yeah, he pieced that together nice. Hey, Morris, he, he did a safe choice here. It's not a bad outfit. It's just, this is just very safe. So, like, I don't get nothing from it. I think this guy really has a lot of potential to do something. Right skin complexion, he's he's looking handsome. I think he should experiment more and step out of his comfort zone because this is very comfortable. I me. wanna see him not do like just plain, plain tees, like a different, thicker material. Yeah, he could definitely pull off a lot of different styles, I feel like. I'd wanna see him in some sort of cardigan or something, like. Yeah, four, because he's just safe. I'm gonna give this a six because I just see a lot of potential. Holy fuck. <laughs> Downtown Vancouver. Um, what is he doing with his traps, dude? <laughs> well, that's a yeah. you have to force that traps though, like flexing for the pit on those legs, dude. And your crotch is open. This is unflattering in just about every way possible. You see the extension cord just in the back, bro. You're in a city. Like the shorts and shoes are cool. The socks and the tank. That. I like the shorts. The and socks the shoes. and the tank. Just. I'd like to see a completely new outfit with the shoes. More mm. complete new outfit with just the shorts. The, the necklace is cool, bro. That's cool, just, yeah, like, ugh. the tank top the fucking ruined it. I'll give him a three. That's gonna be a two for me. Holy fuck. Oh fuck, it's me. Uh-oh, uh Noah headed to the Chicago. <laughs> Noah just got drafted to the Bulls. <laughs> oh fuck, Noah's stepping out today. Oh. The glasses too are throwing me off. Bro, the pose. I'm excited that he chose the Bulls basketball shirt. The fact that it's number one too is hilarious. <laughs> um, hey bro. Get a clean cut, bro. Get a taper or a fade in. Get a fade, and brother. Don't make the bangs as long. You could look fresh. And those cargos. Ah, and the kicks, man. A lot of it in the outfit is about the pose as well. He lost me on the cargos. He lost me on the shoes. The bright red doesn't work for him. I don't know. The bright red shirt, I just don't think is it's his not for, flavor. It's not for him. And even the pose, I think, buried it. Because <laughs> if he was doing something chill, I don't think I'd be as No, yeah, he's angry. freaking me out with the no emotion. Like, it's like... How you carry yourself and your swag has a lot to do with your style. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. he doesn't even, he's not even sure, like, is this what I do? It'll just kind of. Because if you're confident, it's like, that'll show. Mm hmm. Or not just kind of like. And it, do you think it's showing? Nah, it's not showing on this one, unfortunately. I'm going to give my brother a two. Oh, two or, yeah, I was going to say two, three. Oh, shit. Okay. Here we go. Wow, Mr. Burgess. Pink tie, bold choice. Spicy with the pink. Another 10 for me, personally. I would have gave him a 10 if he just switched the tie. I'm cool with everything else. I wouldn't look good in that, but yeah, he definitely looks good. I think the tie is a fun, quirky, out of the box choice. And I, I like to look for that. I like to look for the, oh wow, he really experimented. He tried something here. I like it. I'll give him a nine. Daniel, day one, first day of school. And this is how he's stepping out. I'll let y'all comment on this one. Uh, I, I don't really want to say this. Um, yeah, y'all got this one. I would say this needs just a little bit of work here. Those were the pants that I wore in middle school. Cargo. Shorts is what I wore in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. How about the different laces though? <laughs> oh, Rob. I didn't see those. But he did the Nike slash with the Nike shoes though. <laughs>
Look, look, look. I can respect that he's trying. He went to Urban Outfitters, he got a tee that he thought was cool. He switched the laces, thinking it was cool. Like, he's trying to do something mm -hmm. with style, but it's just like, you're trying the wrong things, and it's like, you're not quite there yet. But, the good thing is, you can be. Mm -hmm. At any given time, you can really step it up Yeah, crazy. you can really step it up, right now. I think he needs to grow up. To grow also, up. just like his height, this dude's probably 6'4". He's a big boy. He's just big boy to be wearing a silly tee. Yeah. In the short shorts, like, you're a- You're a man. It sure. feels like a big, I'm gonna say like a big baby, but like- No, well, that's that's what I was saying. It, uh, you look like a huge middle schooler. Yes, you're like the sixth grade giant. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, is like a middle schooler. Like he just needs a whole new set. He needs to update the the year with his his yeah. age with his wardrobe. Yeah, that's it. The Korean brother. Okay. And Mr. Smooth. Fuck, he's a 10 for me. Yeah, he's pulling pulling everything. God damn, there. that's a 10. And I don't like satchels, but like, damn, he, he rocking it. He like, rocking it's satchel. subtle, it's cool. And the bandana, a little funky, little personality trait. I like that one. It's a 10 for me. Yeah, it's gonna be a 10. They got drip overseas. And that's a clean photo too. Little piece of art. Bro, this is how you take a photo. This is a smooth look. Can you do that with your hair, bro? Uh, the two scoop, like, Probably. The little. <laughs> and see, the good thing is, is like he's taller too, so yeah, he maybe if a different stature might not look as cool, but yeah, that definitely pulls that off, I think. Oh, different outfit. Is this dude a celebrity? He, is this a regular this dude? dude look he looks like a pop star or something. Now, should everyone try to wear stuff like this? Or can only he pull it off? Like we said, it's like he pulls it off. Like he has that presence about himself where it's like, okay, yeah, that's what he wears. When I was in high school, college, I would kind of wear the stuff that I love seeing on other people. Mm -hmm. I put it on, I just like, I felt it. Like I felt like I was in, but when I look back, I'm like, but it didn't suit me. Mm. Like it just, I look at it from another perspective, like oh, I just didn't really work on me, but mm. yeah. So like I said, you can buy what everybody else has, but you have to find what looks good on you. How do you yeah. know if it looks good on you? Cause some people like that kid with the bulls, he thought this my fit. Yeah. And I would mm -hmm. say it's okay to change up your style too. Like if something worked for you in high school and you're not in high school anymore, like you can switch it up. Cause it might not be cool anymore it might not be look good on you anymore your body changes or whatever it is constant experimentation yeah it's yeah. really i think the name of the game yeah. there's some sort of unspoken sauce that's yeah that he has he has it all right last one best for last best for even, last even disney no clean these pixar yeah that's Oh man. Those are the like the knockoff streetwear clothes you get from New York outside that people are selling from their trunk. <laughs> Damn. Oh, dude. Rob said yeah. selling out of their trunk. <laughs> Yeah, that was over dramatic, but I was trying to be funny. No, but I mean, this is um souvenir clothing. It's souvenir drip. That you that you see at the Welcome to Hollywood. And again, everything is too loud. Simplicity is the ultimate form of sophistication. When people think that they're wearing loud, bold, crazy stuff, they think that that's sophistication and that's cool. When really, if you go back to the Asian brother, his fit was so simple. It was a suede jumpsuit. One color. And we didn't even know the brand of it or anything like that. Nothing. And that motherfucker looks sophisticated. And I get it, like, he definitely thinks this is the hardest fit. Like, I know for a fact he's feeling it. He's doing too much. Like, I was wearing outfits like this where I'd walk into like a Thanksgiving dinner and I could tell the looks my family members are giving me and stuff. But like, at the time I was like, y'all don't know what I'm, y'all don't even know what this is. But now I sit back like, yeah, they're like, yeah, no one going through it. Like, this is what it is. Look at all of our outfits. I mean, look at the color scheme. Yeah, this is an earthy, mm. even this is a jersey, whatever, brown, earthy, granite. Yeah. And even you, these are some mixture. You got pink different. and orange, but they are they're muted. Subtle, yeah, yeah, yeah. I look at you, I'm like, everything meshes together. I look at him, my eyes hurt. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like you got exactly. a lot of colors on there, but it doesn't feel that way. It's more cohesive, Co I would say, yeah. This Ooh. my eyes, I got the graphic eagle, but then the the outline. <laughs> The inverted trust text. New York and the eagle ah! on the fucking <laughs> sleeves. Yeah. That's all, yeah. it's just too much. Just too because much. you have a lot of cool pieces on doesn't add up your cool points. It's like, yeah, you gotta know how to have that balance too. In conclusion, I think that my message was the keep it simple and then have your one crazy accent piece. If you wanna rock pink shoes, make everything simple and then have the shoes be the boom. My thing is to wear things that may not be what's trending. I feel like a lot of people mm. go off of what they see online or what other people are wearing. And then at that point, you just step into the herd. And it's like, well, I think with fashion, with style, it's it's worth experimenting and expressing yourself because I think that's what style is. That's the only way you can have your own season, and be confident in your own body and your own style is if you really take a step back and see like, okay, do I look good in this? Or am I wearing this for what reason? Things like that. Like for for me, I found like certain things fit me better than they did back then. You just have to experiment and like, oh, I know this looks good on me. So next time I go shopping, I'm gonna buy something like this. And you know how many people you see that all dress the same? You're the goth person. You're the 19 year old Hispanic kid from LA. People that do the copy paste, copy 
face. While that might be a daunting task to do if you're a high schooler, I still think it's worth trying so that you don't fall into the copy paste, copy paste. Keep experimenting. Keep experimenting. And buy our merch. We got shorts, we got cool ass hoodies. First link at the top of the description. These are hard though. We restocked these. Everyone was like, oh, restock the zip ups. Yeah, go buy this and then you might be a 10. You will be a 10. Bye. See ya.